the IVF process, uh, the step by step process through which IVF takes place and how it works. Uh, IV it is important to remember three main steps while when we talk about uh, the IVF process. Nowadays the IVF process has become very very simplified. Those days it used to uh, be with multiple injection lasting for a duration up to two months. Now the maximum uh, each procedure uh, maximum duration that you have to be in contact with your doctor is probably around uh, 12 to 15 days max uh, and when I say 12, 10, 10 to 15 days I mean the period in which in which you will have to visit the hospital. It does no longer requires prolonged bread rest, no longer requires prolonged hospital stay. Many of the blood investigations are out, many um, uh, ultrasound itself is more than enough to do maximum work that is required in the entire IVF process. So when I, when I said about the three sta crucial stages, it is important to remember the first stage that is the uh, ovarian stimulation stage. That is this period is where you give the injections in which the lady is made to form more number of eggs. The second stage is the egg collection where the eggs are retrieved from the uh, intending lady's body. And the third stage is the embryo transfer stage which where the embryo is formed in the lab and it is kept inside the uterus. So these are the more three crucial steps. Now I should go into each and every step. So the first step this is when you will have there will be some frequent visits to the hospital. An ultrasound scan will be done almost every once in two days or once in three days. To, and injections will be given to you on a daily basis for, for a period of 10 days. Before there used to be a lot of uh, blood lab investigations being done uh, but now multiple blood draws are all are a thing of the past. So ultrasound itself is done mostly and this 10 days the eggs are made to grow inside your body. And when the finally the eggs are formed around, around the 10th day or the 12th day the eggs are mature eggs are formed. Well, an injection is given for the eggs to release and 36 hours from the time the injection is given you go on to the second process which is the egg collection or the oocyte retrieval. In this step a mild anesthesia you are take, you are admitted in the hospital a mild anesthesia is given the anesthesia is very mild it is only given uh, it is not given in the spinal cord it is only an IV anesthesia is given and under transvaginal scan guidance the eggs are retrieved from the body and the eggs that are retrieved from the body are taken to the IVF lab and in the lab the eggs are allowed to uh, mature for a little while and then the sperms are taken and the sperms are through a procedure called ICSI intracytoplasmic injection of sperm. The, uh, the sperms are put inside the egg and the egg and, the, um, and it is allowed to grow in the IVF lab. Uh, the in the lab the embryo the developing baby is called the embryo it grows in the IVF lab for a period of 3 to 5 days and when and the number of embryos that are formed are kept in the lab then we go on to the next procedure that is the embryo transfer the embryo transfer can be do, done at two, two different ways either you can go for a fresh transfer or you can go in for a frozen embryo transfer these days uh, we like to uh, do more of frozen embryo transfers and because of uh, the advent of the frozen embryo transfers lot of uh, side effects that were experienced in the past due to IVF have become almost they have come down to bare minimum or almost nil I would say. So what happens is in the embryo transfer the embryo that is formed in the lab similar to an IUI procedure embryo transfer does not require anesthesia you are made uh, and it is a quick 10 minute procedure where you are fully conscious and through a small tube the embryos are placed inside the uterus and 15 days from the embryo transfer you check to see if you get a positive result or not and as um, I would like to highlight here that not all patients who undergo IVF will have a, a high success rate. It is not a 100% thing, but 
yet they have a good we are able to give a good success rate of about 50 percent and which means like around if 10 people undergo the IVF process 40 to 50 end up getting pregnant and of course the others may require another cycle of stimulation or another strategy of treatment but that is not uh, something that you should uh, you worry about and think about if it is the IVF is the logical step for you to take at that point of time you should go ahead and do it because it is a fairly simplified thing and don't worry yourself about prolonged hospitalization or prolonged bed rest which is completely unnecessary and uh, that, that should not be in the back of your mind when you are thinking about IVF. Mm -hmm.